Okay, let's open up our project um, if we don't have it open already. So in the last lesson we wrote this and it gave us this information. So that's the footer of our document. And this is a section that we've dealt with already. Um, in this lesson we're going to be looking at uh, different elements for styling the remaining part of our document. So there are the subheader and the content. Uh, we can find an element uh, for it. In our HTML documentation, I'm going to click on article and we can see what it says. It says the article element represents a section of content that forms an independent part of a document. So if we can copy that information and send it to a friend, it means it is an article, okay? So let's write our article element. And within our article element, we have up here, we have the header, okay? So if we go into our documentation and find the header and click on it. So let's read on what it says. It says the header element typically contains headings, okay, from H1 to H6, and it's, it has the introductory material. So that's basically what the header does, it introduces the article that we're about to write. So in the header, um, we could use our header element like that. The header element has two things. It has a header and it has a subheader. So we will represent our header with the H1 element. So that's a H1, okay? Uh, we could put the name of our document, Geology 101 Report, okay? And it has a subheader which we can represent using our P element, okay? And within that, you type lorem and then hit your tab key and uh, Sublime will give you some dummy text like this, which you can reduce uh, by deleting some of it. Okay, so if we reset our page, we have this information there, which represents our header with a H1 and uh, a subheader, okay? All right, so we have the, the main body section uh, to deal with now. If we come in here, just below the header element, we could type uh, a P element and type lorem and then tab and we have our dummy text. Copy that paragraph with the open and closing and paste it twice. So you have three different paragraphs on the page representing a body section, uh, which, which is this section here. All right, so uh, so far we have an article which has three paragraphs in it and it also has a header within it. If we reset our page, we have a document is coming along uh, nicely. We have the footer to, to look into now. So over here we have uh, the title for our document and the page uh, our document is on. So this is information relating to our main uh, document or article. So it's the same as a footer. So we can, uh, just below the article element, we could type footer, okay? And uh, within footer, we need two uh, elements that can help us style um, our footer left and right. So we have div, which is there uh, for that purpose. So div is there for adding additional semantic and structure okay so we use div for that purpose so if we come into our footer we could type uh, div open and close like that so I'll duplicate this because we need two of it so the first one uh, would hold our article title okay and the second one will have the page number in it so if I go into <clears throat> the first one and I can put uh, geology re uh, 101, I think, Georgia 101 report, okay, as our title, and I'll put one in here as the page. Okay, so that is basically what our, our div is, is going to do for us. Okay, uh, if we reset, uh, we can see here that we have our footer, information is there, and everything's looking good. All right, so <clears throat> we've been writing quite a bit of uh, HTML and we've managed to finish um, the HTML for this document and everything looks um, okay. It's not styled yet. This is not left and right and so on. So we'll be dealing with that shortly. So it's okay to have two footer in the same document as long as the content is correct. Uh, that's the end of this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.